Hey everyone, it's Pauline. In today's video, I'm gonna be recreating this face chart from Milk 1422. I'm starting by putting on some bronzer. I'm gonna leave the reference picture up the whole time so you guys can see what I'm doing. Bronzer and some contour, just to start getting my face not to look like a pancake, because no one wants a pancake. And then putting up the highlighter, roughly based off of where I see it in the picture here. And then I'm gonna do my brows super thick, because of reference photo has very thick brows way thicker than my brows so I'm not way overdraw them and no they're not as spacey or PC as the reference photo but I don't have that much brows to do that so mine's gonna be very very filled with the pomade uh, next I'm gonna go in with the Mechanist palettes this one is grind to start actually creating this fiery <laughs> clown ish look so yeah just starting with the yellowish tones to map out the outer edges and get my rough guideline here and then we go into some of this burnt orange shade and deepen up the crease with it and not being very like controlled with it I'm trying to go a little bit more spacey I'm using the reference picture as a guide not as an exact template of what I'm doing and using some of the darker reds I'm also using the ignite palette to create this look so those two palettes is what I use. If you guys are curious, you can get the outer corner now. And as I said, I'm not trying to be like very precise with what I'm doing. Adding some more yellow in it now. And then I'm gonna start mapping out roughly where I'm gonna have the lips go. I'm not gonna do the exact lips that are in the reference photo, as you guys can probably tell from the my thumbnail. But doing the nose here. My own version of the nose because just using this picture really is a guideline of what I'm doing for this clown ish look which I really like how it turned out at the end putting a shimmer across my lid here which is kind of a like a champagne tone and I'm gonna take some of this purple tone underneath my eye line I will add in black later to complete that out I'm gonna grab that Morphe one but didn't like it so I ended up going with an external pencil in black bean and again, being very messy, and then I'm just gonna smudge it all out with that purple mixed with some brown tones. And then I'm gonna go back in with some reds, then the yellow, just to kind of deepen it all up here. Next, I'm gonna take an eyeliner. I actually hate this one. My sister is walking in, so I'm kind of talking to her a lot throughout the video. Um, doing some basic eyeliner, not being like too particular on it. And then I'm gonna take this liquid lipstick in Friday from Clarepop. It is an ultra matte. This is what I decided to do my lips in, as well as most of the crease part. Now taking a NYX Epic Ink Line and doing the tears. Just kind of a bunch of tears. I know theirs were very two, just one down the center, but I wanted to do a lot of tears and make them a little bit longer. And then I grabbed a Morphe eyeliner brush, just kind of deepen some things up. I'll put um, liquid liner over liquid. Uh, lipstick overall. This uh, this is the shade Wifey from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is their Valora Liquid Lipsticks. As you tell, I pretty much put it over the entire area where I had the eyeliner. So you basically can't ignore that today. Uh, going back with my black thick ink liner just to deepen up those things because I felt like they got a little bit lost. I think more yellow in just because I needed that in there. Now I'm taking Drug Lord, also from Jeffree Star, to add the highlight points because that is a very something that Milk does a lot in their looks is they have very, very like specific highlights which you can make very easily on like paper but it's not like doesn't kind of come through the same in makeup when you do it on your face so white eyeliner is great for that. Um, take more Friday to actually put it in my lips now. I kind of wish I was actually smiling when I had done this but I still like how it turned out in the end. And then just putting some shadow all around. Just to kind of make the lips look more clown like. Hi, sister. Um, that was Lucy, my sister. Going around the outer corner mat. This really was a narrow pinch picture, but I felt like it was needed. And I liked how it looked. Um, then putting some blush on, not that you can really tell. And then taking some more dark lord where I think I need a little bit more of that. I kind of go back and forth between a bunch of different things, just try to get those exact details of how I want it. And then I kind of wanted to do something different underneath my lips, 
kind of like a blood type of thing. Kind of just kind of match the eyes. Was to add that underneath. I don't know what the clown went through. It went through some type of trauma. We just don't know what. And I really like how this look turned out. I'm putting some more red blood splatter spots with wifey. I kind of wish I had weirdo, but I don't have that. And then, yeah, so adding more black, red in, going back and forth in the black, the white, and that as some mascara. And then, I think I'm just gonna evaluate the look, see how I like it, and then I think I adjusted it just ever so slightly. I just need a little bit more drug lord in a few spots to t totally get that look that I was looking for. And there we go, there's the final look. I like it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!